I'm Sylvain Lévy, and I'm the founder with my wife Dominique of the DSL Collection. We discovered China 10 years ago with the first trip in 2005. And uh, it was an amazing adventure so far with a, a language that we didn't understand. We are based in Paris, but we frequently travel either in China, but also to meet other collectors or to go to other exhibitions. When you travel in, uh, in Europe, everybody can speak with you. But in China, it's very, very hard, specifically with a taxi driver. <laughs> Ten years ago, we, we went to China because my brother-in-law was moving to China. And after visiting uh, Ikea, Carrefour, and I don't know, we went to uh, Morgenstern and we met uh, uh, Lawrence from Shanghai. And really, we were very inspired by what we've seen there and what he told us. And uh, we decided uh, that uh, it was uh, exciting to begin a Chinese collection. At the beginning, we decided to have a collection, a nomad collection. So that means that no specific place, city, where we will uh, uh, open a space. It's very important to go where people are and not just wait for people to come to you. And in another way, we are at the 21 century and we decide to use all the new technology to share with the public. You know, collecting is the kind of quest for an impossible dream. I think this makes for me interesting in, in collecting. I think collecting is the best way to spiritually enrich yourself. When you collect, you have an addiction. So <laughs> more you see artworks and more you, you become in love <laughs> with the, the artwork. It's about taking risks. It's about uh, encounters with objects, with people. It's about uh, curiosity. It's about uh, the quest for the impossible dream because you always try to reach and to find the object that you cannot find. And so uh, collecting Chinese contemporary art is totally this. You know, it's, uh, we don't speak the language, it's 12,000 kilometers from Paris. There is no institutional validation, the market was crazy. So what an adventure. At the beginning and uh, until today, we decided to go directly to the artist studio with the galleries, with the art critics, with the uh, curators, to discover exactly the, the human behind, you know, an artwork. Behind every artwork, I can tell you the whole story on how we collect the work, when we encounter the artist. I can tell you, every work for us is a kind of uh, piece of the diary, of our diary. So we don't have a works that we, we uh, I shall say, we, uh, I prefer one to another. Very important to read a lot, see a lot of uh, exhibitions, visit a lot of galleries. And when we're in China, we spend a lot of time visiting studios. And so we have to, to mix a very strong homework and also a, a very strong presence on, on site when you are there. It's a personal adventure. We, we don't pretend to, to become a, an encyclopedic collection. Most of the collection today are judged by numbers. And what I think is art should not be looked through numbers. So we decided to limit the collection to 350 works. We think that the collection, especially a contemporary art collection, should be an ongoing project. It should be, it should be you know, uh, regenerated. And also, when you work on a very limited number, it's like a bonsai. The more you prune the tree, the more you can give a strong image. What we have decided when we began this collection was to, to make a kind of museum type collection. Why? Because at this period, 2005, there was not many museum type collections in China. It meant a lot of things. First, it meant that we were ready to collect all types of work. So this is why we went into installations, videos and photos. When you want to go into museum type collection, it's also about showing the collection. So this is why we decided to open the collection. And at this time, what was the best way to reach, especially the Chinese people? It was through internet. And more and more, you know, we can um, send many, many links, many uh, books, uh, digital e-books. And then we noticed that 
the digital world were, was bringing a new type of new types of experiences, new layers of experiences in the way we we can share, but also the way people consume art. And so we went from uh, website to 2D museum, 3D museums, application. Now we're going to work on augmented reality and also we're working very hard also in social networks. And really our pleasure is to uh, support, promote uh, the artists, the galleries, and also uh, some uh, institutions who make exhibitions because we can share with so many, so many uh, people today and it was not possible before and for many reasons also for a question of budget. It's really be become easy today. You cannot go against the way the world is changing. I think that, uh, to tell you the truth, this collection for us also is interesting because it, it embodies two tectonic changes. The first one is the rise of China. <clears throat> the rise of China is changing the face of the world. And the second is the rise of the digital world, which is changing, deeply changing, the human being. It's a, a group, a group of uh, friends, of uh, amateurs d'art. And uh, today, before you have the salon, you know, at the 18th century, and today we have the possibility to make the same kind of discussion, but with millions and millions people. What is important for me is interaction. I think that everybody can enrich everybody. I think artists needs not to be only artists but to see what's happening also, also in the other part of the ecosystem. And so I think that the fact that there is today in kind of interactivity between everybody, I think it's a good thing. You know, uh, museums are still the place where you can find the, the, the best works in the world. And I think that what is important is to go there. But what is interesting for me is a museum is not only the place where I can, you know, look at art. But what today I spend also a lot of time is look at, at the audience. How audience today experience art. And to try to use what you can learn from that to build your own collection in order to make your collection relevant to the audience. I think a private collection should take all the risk. And in the ecosystem, the museum never take any risk. Never. They only collect things which already have been in a, uh, I shall say, in a certain way judged. You must also take care of the artwork that you bought because it's very important for the future. And uh, you must be very humble because every day you learn through galleries, curators, artists, journalists, critics. So you must uh, stay involved in the moment where you decide to, to build your collection. You know, in every collect collector, there is a kind of small dream to go into eternity. You know, when you build a museum, it means that you want to leave a kind of, you know, mausolee. But I think this is not the most important. For me, my first legacy is to my children, because we are transmitting the collection to my children. It's interesting to see that a, a collection can, come, can become a kind of family business in the, in the sense of business. But, uh, something that we can transmit, like we can transmit a, a company or an enterprise, but we are going to transmit a project. We are very proud to show the collection in Sheffield. You know, um, there was before my visit and after my visit to Sheffield. I think this is very important. Before my visit, it was just a project among other projects. You know, I'm very close with uh, uh, Sebastian. He came to me. We saw each other in London, but you know, it was a project, okay. Then I went to Sheffield, and to tell you the truth, I, I had a shock. I had a shock because I like the city, I like the people, and I was able to see the locations and to imagine uh, this exhibition, especially this exhibition with the three other collectors that I know. And I imagined this exhibition, and for me, this exhibition is very, very unique. I think it's, for me, it's the first time 
from my memory that the city organized in different locations for different private collections. And for me, this makes the project very interesting because it's, it's about diversity. It's about different type of dialogues. And it's about the whole city being involved in a project, which is a project only linked with private collections. So I think that for me, uh, when I came back from Sheffield, the project to, took a totally another dimension. And this is why I'm very well, very proud to be proud of this project.